Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program in C to store elements in an array and print it. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h we will write wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare the variables of type integer and here a is array of size 10 n is number of elements and i is the subscript now we will write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter how many elements using printf statement here I am going to write how many elements End the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf statement here in a double quotation mark we will write percentage d format specifier which is associated with int type of data and put comma and we will take ampersand of n now let us take uh, the elements now so we are going to receive the elements from the user through keyboard using the printf statement we will ask the user to enter the elements so backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we'll use for loop in order to enter one element at a time for i is equal to 0 because subscript of array starts from 0 so that's the reason we have to take i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and here using scanf statement we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard so here i'm going to write in a double quotation mark percentage d format specifier and put comma and now we are going to write ampersand of a of i and we are going to receive one element at a time now whatever the element that we have received from the user we are going to print the same onto the console once again here what i'm going to do is uh, in a printf statement the entered elements are in a double quotation mark i'll write the entered elements are backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now once again we are going to use the same for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus here we are going to print them down so i'll write printf statement in a double quotation mark i'll write a of percentage d and close the bracket is equal to percentage d backward slash n end the double quotation mark put comma and here i'm going to write put i and put comma and next a of i and curly sorry uh, braces closing brace and put semicolon now we are going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for this main function now let us see how exactly this works by taking an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user how many elements for example i am going to enter 3 so n value will become 3 so next is it is going to ask enter the elements enter the elements so just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line and using this iterative statement so we are going to receive one element at a time for example i am going to enter 10 20 and 30 so for i is equal to 0 a of 0 a of 0 is holding value 10 again control transfers to 4 by incrementing the value of i by 1 1 is less than 3 hence it is true so it is going to receive the next element at a of 1 is equal to 20 again control transfers to 4 by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than 3 condition is true once again it is going to take the subscript a of 2 is equal to 30 again control transfers to 4 by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement what is the next statement here the entered elements are so it is going to print the entered elements are and just because of this backward slash n cursor will come down to the next line 
and for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and here you can observe one thing we have written a and square opening and closing bracket and inside this we have written the format specifier that is associated with the value i is equal to will be printed as it is and this percentage d format specifier is associated with a of i so for the first time a of uh, sorry for the first time i is equal to 0 so a of percentage d i means what a of 0 will be printed here so it is going to print a of 0 as it is so this opening and closing brace and equal to will be printed as it is and after that this percentage d is associated with a of i a of i is for the first time a of 0 a of 0 is what 10 so it is printing 10 so a of 0 is equal to 10 will be printed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 1 is less than n value is 3 so it is true once again this particular statement will get executed so a square opening bracket percentage d is associated with i i value is 1 close the bracket equal to will be printed as it is this percentage d is associated with a of 1 a of 1 consisting of value 20 so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than 3 yes condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed now a of percentage d i value is 2 is equal to will be printed as it is this percentage d is associated with a of 2 a of 2 is holding value 30 so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails then the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement so it is going to execute get ch and then terminates the program so this is how it is going to show the output so let us uh, run this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error now i'm going to press enter and let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here you can say it is asking the user how many elements for example i'm going to enter 3 and press enter now i'm going to enter 10 next 20 next 30 and now i'm going to press enter here you can see the entered elements are a of 0 is equal to 10, a of 1 is equal to 20 and a of 2 is equal to 30. So not only this, even you can take some other number as well. So once again, I am going to run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Now it is asking how many elements. For example, I want to enter 5 elements, then you can enter 5 and press enter. Now it is asking the user to enter the elements. And in this particular instance, I have to enter a total five elements for example i'm going to enter 2 4 6 8 and then 10 and press enter here you can see the entered elements are a of 0 is equal to 2 a of 1 is equal to 4 a of 2 is equal to 6 a of 3 is equal to 8 and a of 4 is equal to 10 so always index number of array starts from 0 to maximum minus 1 so maximum elements we had given was 5 5 minus 1 is 4 so index number it is showing a of 4 is con consisting of value 10 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you